Hi, good evening. Hi. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, Elena. Hi, Adeli. How's everybody? Hello. Fine. Bye. Good. Nice. Nice to see you all again. How was your weekend? Did you guys work? You didn't work over the weekend? No, it was a good weekend just to sleep. Oh, very nice. Good, good. <laughs> I envy you. <laughs> That's nice. Very good, Elena. Good for you. And Rodrigo, did you work or did you did you rest a little bit? I I sleep. You slept. I all slept right. and I worked and I read okay. some books. Oh, nice. All right. So a little bit of everything, Rodrigo. Yeah. That's nice. All right. And Brenda, a lot of meetings over the weekend, Brenda? No, no not over the weekend, but yes, today. On yeah. my weekend, I just watched um, YouTube videos. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Very good. All right. Nice. And Arely, what about you? Today was my day off. Oh, cool. All right. That's nice. All right. And the weekend was okay. Yeah. I work uh, weekends. Okay. All right. That's why today was your day off. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Very nice. Hi, Manuel. Hi. Good evening. Right. Good evening. Uh, Astrid? I guess not. All right. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. How are you, Saida? Good, how about you? Okay, I'm okay. I'm happy it's Monday again. <laughs> yeah, ready, right. ready. Ah. ready. Ready for the listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, no kidding, Saidita. Yeah, ready for the listening. All right, guys. So thank you, uh, Saida, for introducing that. Uh, we're beginning today. Uh, hi, Nidia. All right, hi, Nidia. All right, so we're beginning today the listening section, okay? So the listening section is going to be worked a little bit different than what the reading section was, like how we worked it out. Because this one, again, it only has, we're gonna look at one type of question, all right? And the rest of the week, we're going to look at some activities that we can do to improve our listening, all right? So we're gonna be like doing some short listenings to give you like hints or ideas on how to improve your listening skills, all right? So I don't know if you were able to see the message I sent like about 10 minutes ago because I was teaching the other class. Uh, if you could have ready your, the platform. Do you guys have it handy with you? Do you have it with you, kind of? Yes, I'm right. ready. Okay, thank you, Manuel. What about yes. you, Nidia? Yeah, you guys have it? Brenda, Rodri, Elena? I, yes, teacher. All right. You the have it, Rodri? Audios. Okay, okay. I have the audio. Oh, you, you have the audios I already sent to you. Okay, so we're, we, uh, this is what we're going to be doing on, like working on today. We're gonna work on the PPT I have, but also we're gonna be watching the platform. The beginning of the video, I mean, the first video of the platform, I'm gonna play it with you right now so we can like all listen together to the inference questions. That so these are the type of questions that we're going to be listening to. And after that, we are going to work uh, on the second video of the platform and that's why I wanted you to have it ready because as you listen to that, I want you to actually take notes in class. So I'm going to be sending you to your groups uh, for you to do that, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna like work it out with you, okay? Hi, Fred. Astrid. Hi, Miss. Hi, very good. Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. I saw Eduardo somewhere, Eduardo. I don't know if he's with us. All right, okay, anyway. So I'm gonna share this with you right now, guys, so we can see it together. We're talking about inference questions. I am on the platform right now. I'm gonna share the audio, so right now don't worry about having your platform open, all right? If you can have it open for the later exercise we're going to be working on, that's perfect. But right now, what I want you to do is to pay attention. I just wanna, I just want to, um, listen to the video so I can like clarify any doubts if you have any as we listen to this, okay? All right, so we're going to start inference questions. Hello, welcome to the listening section. This time we'll go inside the inference questions. Inference questions ask you to use context clue and implied information to make educated guesses about the subject matter. 
Usually the question will include a word like imply or infer, which should be a hint that the speaker will not directly say the answer. In All right, so remember inference questions, you need to infer something. So probably it's not gonna, and we already kind of worked on these type of questions with the, some of the classmates that took TOEFL too. All right, remember that the uh, information is not being said directly to you. That's why they are called inference questions, okay? So they are going to use words as like, for example, imply or infer, and then you have to pay attention to what are they implying or what are they inferring based on probably their like the tone of voice or like how they are expressing themselves. In other words, inference questions ask the listener to show an understanding of the meaning of something when it is not directly stated in the lecture or conversation. Inference questions will usually look very similar to one of these examples. What can be inferred from the professor's discussion of X? What will the student probably do next? What is implied when the speaker says this? Replay a short segment. Sometimes the question will replay a sentence from the recording for you. Other times you will need to rely on your notes and memory to answer the question. Unfortunately, your notes may not always be much help, since you can't take notes or information that isn't there. One of the ideas or one of the uh, hints or key that sometimes we give you is like, as you're listening, try to take notes. But in these type of questions, it's very difficult to take notes on something that is not being said. All right, because it's not being said, you're supposed to infer what's being said. All right, so yeah, you can take a look at your notes, but how can you write something that was not said on the listening? So it's kind of tricky, all right? So that's why, yeah, you may take notes, but also make sure that you're like understanding what's being said on the paragraph, all right? Or on the listening path. In other times, what is going to happen, and we're gonna practice ex uh, one of the, these examples today, is like sometimes you listen to the whole passage, all right, and then, a short segment is played again and he or she says, what does the uh, professor imply when he says this? And they, re they replay the short segment. And then you listen only to that one second uh, sentence, all right? So in that case, you kind of like pay attention to that little second, all right? So usually those are easier because you, don't, you listen to everything and then you listen again to that short segment and then you have to pay attention to exactly what he or she said on that right moment, okay? So when you're answering inference questions, keep these points in mind. Never pick an answer that contradicts a main idea from the passage. As you're listening, pay attention to the speaker's tone. Listen to recordings of two speakers with different viewpoints about the same topic. What words do the speakers use to support their ideas? Are the words mainly positive or negative? Then look at how they imply positive or negative ideas without saying them directly. The correct answer will probably use some keywords not found in the recording. The implication is very similar to what's directly said. You do not need to make a large logical jump. The last point is the most important one. Even though we call these questions inference questions, they are very, very similar to detail questions. The information is in the recording. Never draw from your own thoughts or experiences if they are not also spoken about in the recording. Now we may take a look at a sample question. This is what probably a sample question would look like and you have it there, you guys, so you can play this again and see it closely, all right? Or you can like take as much time as you need to, all right? If you notice here, again, so some questions require you to make inferences. These questions may be stated in the following way. What does the woman imply? What does the professor, why, sorry, why does the professor mention? what can be said about, all right? Sometimes you will listen again, that's, that, that, and that's what I was telling you about. Sometimes you will listen again to part of a lecture in order to answer the question. You hear, and then you listen to the whole thing, and then again, it says, you read and hear. What does the professor imply when he says this? And then if he has a, like the headphones or the headsets, that means that they're gonna play the short segment again, and then you have to pay close attention to that. If you don't see the headsets, they're not gonna play it again. You just listen to it once and that's it. And when I mean play it again, they are playing it again, the short segment, know the whole listening passage, okay? So be careful with that. And then you hear the choices, all right? And then you hear whatever they have to say and then you have the choices right below.
So we're gonna, with that in mind, guys, we're gonna go to our uh, presentation that I do. All right. So we talk about inference questions. Okay. So here we're gonna start right away with the uh, listening. We're only going to do four. I mean, four questions, but it's like two listenings. Actually, three listenings, but one is for two questions. And for the other two questions, we have one short listening, all right? So this one, it says, what can be inferred about the articles? So probably they're gonna be talking about some articles and then you have the choices, all right? The question number two, it's the same audio, all right? It says, what can be inferred about the two students that were on the conversation? And then you have the choices. Here's only one right choice, okay? For number three, it says, what does the professor imply about the treatment of phobias? And then you listen to the conversation that's already on the PPT. And last but not least, we have, what does the professor imply when she says this? And they're, they're, they're gonna play a short segment. It's like a line. In fair, what she meant by that, okay? So in fairing, some, so for some people, it's not so difficult because they kind of like catch it in the air. But for some others, it's a little bit more complicated because the information is not directly stated. So you have to like really pay attention not only to what's being said, but also to what's not being said. And that's a little complex. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Yes? Yeah? Do you have any questions? Hello, uh, Maribel. Hi, good evening. Hola. Good evening. All right. Hey, Elena. I know Elena. I already said hi. All right. Very good. So, no questions, guys? Uh, yeah, I do have a question. Uh huh. What's your question? Good evening. Uh, by the way, how many of these answers do we have to choose? Only one. Just, just one. Yes, Robert. Just, just one. one. Mm -hmm. Okay. For these ones, I mean, for the listening questions, usually it's just one answer. All right. So, yeah, okay. only one. Okay. So, what this is take you long all right so that's why i said at the very beginning we're going to be doing some other things during the class today we're going to be listening to this in your groups i'm gonna give you like not even 10 minutes because it shouldn't take you that long but let's say so and then we're coming back and i'm gonna share again the the video that is on the platform and then i'm gonna send you back to your groups and that's when i need you to have your platform ready because i want you to play the video again the second video and i'm gonna tell you which one because I want you to take notes. Sometimes guys, we, uh, we ask you to take notes, but because of time, because of work, or because of many other things, you don't do it. But here, that's why you have like this time for you to practice this with me or with your classmates, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing because you already have this. I already sent it to you. I'm glad I have many people today. Hi, Julia. Very good, and Robert, hello. hello. And Evelyn also, all right? So um, I'm going to send you out to your groups, all right? Do the listening. I already sent the PPT with the listening and I already sent the audios like aside from it, all right? So the first audio, I think it was just number six, then it's phobia and then it's phobia two. And that's com that, com that will complete the four questions. So the first audio should answer the first two questions, okay? Just one choice per question, you understand? Yeah. yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to send you right now. Uh, there's going to be a group with, with three people. Oops. Yeah. The rest are in, in couples, in pairs. All right, guys. All right. Here you go.
we need to listen to this one. Yeah. Hi, girls, you need help? Do we hear? Hello. Hi, need help? Hello. No. You're Hello. okay? You have the listenings? Yes, but, but I confuse a little. What we happened? Need to, mm -hmm. We need to listen the audio in, in question number one. Yeah, and the same audio for question number two. Okay. All right. But the audio is in the presentation. Yes, it is. Uh huh. Okay. Or I already, I also sent the audios like aside from the PPT. So either you can have it, just the audios. And, or you can play it on the PPT because you need to see the questions anyway and the choice, the choices. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's going to share the audio? The... Girls, who's going to share the, the audio? So everybody listen to it. That's the idea. I'm going to start. Oh, okay. Perfect, Julia. Thank you. <laughs> 